Holy shit. Last night we were gifted with an absolute spectacle of NBA Finals basketball. We have a 2-2 series now, Justin. Can you believe that? This is a series. This is a series. I after game 1 and 2, I didn't I I thought that this was going to be an easy sweep for the Bucks. Or sorry, not the Bucks, the the, the Suns. They they won game 1 and 2 very very handedly. And I think we've seen that Chris Middleton has two modes. He's either primetime Michael Jordan or Kyle Kuzma. Exactly. That's and, exactly what he is. He's and, either wildly inconsistent or just the best basketball player on the court. And you know what we saw last night? We saw primetime Michael. Yes. We saw primetime Michael. 40 points, six rebounds. You got four assists. I mean, you can't really ask for that much more. 15 for 33, three of eight from three. Yeah, you can't complain about that. Giannis, I mean, he didn't do like freakish Giannis things. He went for 26 points and 14 boards, but like he almost had a know. triple bubble, triple double. He yeah. had 26, he had 26 points, 14 boards, eight assists, three steals, and two blocks. The guy had a freak of an all around game. He was just all over the court all day. Yeah, he's like, I mean, he's well, like, I, I think one thing that also needs to get talked about a little bit more is just how much he played. He played 44 minutes, dude. Played forty four minutes. Like, I, just saw. I think I think it's actually it's, Chris Middleton played eleven seconds more than him though. Exactly eleven seconds. Exactly eleven seconds. Not more. ten. Eleven seconds. Eleven seconds. Yes. Got it. Uh, so he had twenty six points. He had fourteen boards, and and he played forty four minutes. I think that you know, and the reason I say that is like th- this is a guy that everyone thought was going to be out for a year plus last. I know a week or two ago. I literally I never thought that. I never thought that. I told that to Jake. Jake was sitting there. He's like, Giannis is I done. Did. I Gian- thought it. Giannis is done. I said, he'll miss one game. He goes, that's insane. He's not going to just miss one game. Miss one game. Came back and dropped 20. I was right. I was right. You know, obviously, you know, the whole not having any ligaments torn helps a little bit about that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. I couldn't have done that. I think there are two X factors from last night and not in a good way. Uh, Chris Paul and Drew Holiday. First, let's talk about Drew Holiday. You want to talk about Drew Holiday and his great play tonight? Or last night, we're or do you gonna, want to talk about? Sorry, sorry, sorry. The four of twenty. We're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in a second. So this man built a house out of bricks tonight. Yeah, he went four of twenty, zero of five from three, five for five from free throws. Good job. I'm talking like I'm not talking like some small beach bungalow. I'm talking no. some Texas. Mansion. My guy built a mansion. A mansion. My guy built bricks. a mansion. I I thought that watching him play, I thought Drew Holiday was gonna be Drew Holiday to Drew on my way to Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but that's a good one so. with that said with that said he came in clutch at the end well dude he made two huge plays and i even looked at you and go yo he might be fucking up this game in the beginning but like those plays are big time plays he had that huge board where he's surrounded by three suns players comes down with the board like dribbles it out to the three-point line which is usually when someone loses the ball rather than just like actually pass it out make a bad pass something like that he's like no no, no. i'm gonna take my time dribble it out and then when Giannis poked that ball from chris he grabbed it. Yeah. He snagged it. And I think Jake Crowder was like right there too. And he snagged that and ran up the court. And it was actually really awkward the way he ran. I thought he was carrying the ball at one I point. Mean, I was like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm not going to lie. Drew's pretty lucky that Giannis is Giannis. You, you saw in the fourth quarter when he got blocked by Devin Booker at the rim. Yeah. But it just so happened to end in Giannis's hands. And so it went yeah. from being a block to an easy layup. <laughs> well, yeah. And it's like, uh, dude, when, I, when he took that mid-range jumper at the end of the game, I was like, what? Why? 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 That's the one thing you can't do right now. I'm like, dude, Why? Yeah, Giannis, quit it with the heat with the heat check. Well, dude, him, yeah. Well, dude, I was talking about holidays, but yeah, J- oh, Giannis yeah. <laughs> at the three point line, jab stepping, and Jay Crowder literally just put his hands up. He's like, shoot it, dude. Shoot this it. isn't LA Fitness. <laughs> it's like <laughs> most disrespectful thing you could ever do to someone. It's... I'll say this though, Drew Holiday at plus eight. Um, he had 13 points. You know, he had seven assists, seven boards, three steals, and you know, like. It, it, it just simply having a positive plus minus playing the way he did tonight is simply yeah, miracle. and it's not like they how much did they win by it even like they 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 won by seven so it's like he obviously had a positive impact on the court. Uh, I'll say this though, Pat Connaughton had a plus twenty one, so secret weapon, Jiffy secret Lube. weapon, Jiffy Lube. Notre, Notre Dame's finest or, or Jiffy, Lube's say, finest. Yeah, Jiffy Lube's finest, Jiffy Lube's finest assistant manager of oil changes. 
But Drew Holiday is going to have to play better if the Bucks are going to want to win two more games in this series. Dude, I I, he's got to not only does he have to play better, he has to play effectively, and he's just not playing effectively. I, I think Chris Middleton will have a couple more good games. This is going to be his best game of the series. So oh yeah, dude. I mean, th- this like, is yeah, th- like forty points. Like come on, y- you know. Uh, yeah, so they're going to need Drew Holiday to play better. But so let's talk about the other X yeah, factor. So we'll so talk about talk, the well, the other X factor I was going to talk about is Chris Paul. Well, because well, Chris, yeah, well, because Chris, Chris, Chris Paul, terrible. dude, like he didn't help Devin Booker at all tonight. No, no, he it, had five. He like had five turnovers, which is super unlikely. The, the thing that I was commending Chris Paul for in our last video was how under control that he plays, and he still did play really under control. I think he may have m- turned the ball over two or three times tonight. Yeah. yeah. He had five turnovers. Oh, did he really? Five? He had five turnovers. Right, and well, actually, I was watching SVP. Forget what I just said. No, I was like, all right. Yeah. I was watching SVP and I was like, I wasn't even paying attention. He goes, have you ever seen Chris Paul have five turnovers? And I was like, do you have five turnovers? Is he just saying that? Like, and then I went and checked and he's like, no, no, you have five turnovers to seven assists. I was like, oh, and a I, negative 10 point differential. SVP doesn't know shit about football, but he knows his basketball. So I trust him with that. He's. He's a homer, though. So, oh, a but, huge, huge well, homer. Well, let's even like, well, let's kick it back to the even the 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 game three. Like, like, guess how many turnovers Paul had? Chris Paul had how many did he? Four. Four. Okay. I mean, it seems to be Four. a common denominator here. Four. If they lose, if Chris Paul gives up like three or more turnovers, I mean, that's not obviously why they lost. Like, Mikhail had four turnovers. Devin you know, Booker was has a turnover. Up, he was throwing up bricks in yeah. game three. <laughs> yeah, my guy built a house yeah, as well. Yeah, he, he, he had, what, 10 yeah, points? Yeah, they built a house next to Drew. They yeah. live on the same street now. Dude, that's why, dude, that's why I think people need to kind of chill with the Devin Booker-Kobe comparisons. Don't get me wrong, dude. Devin Booker is amazing, and I think that he's one of the best shooting guards in the NBA right now. And I'm not trying to take that away. They have very comparable traits, but... He's not a freak like Kobe. Kobe was a freak, dude. Kobe's a like, top five player, arguably. Well, he's definitely a top five player of all time. He's arguably top three. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I'm, I, yeah, miss me with that not top five shit. Yeah, felt like fuck off. Yeah. Like, uh, the, you know, Kobe won the dunk competition at 19. Dude, Cam Johnson has a better chance of winning the dunk competition than Devin Booker does. That's a very, he's amazing. He's actually, but Kobe was Devin Booker mixed with John ja Morant. But I digress. Let's well, talk a little well, bit let's more. Let's talk about the other 40 pointer mm-hmm. for the Bucks. Like, two, like, game three, Giannis drops 41. I mean, he's been doing that quite a bit in the playoffs. But, but, but dude, Giannis had. Giannis went. He's four, an animal, dude. Giannis went. In, He's an in, animal. He played 37 minutes. He he dropped went 14 for 23. He didn't miss make any two three pointers. He missed both. But he had nine boards or sorry, 13 boards, six assists, and a steal and a plus 20 point differential. I am fucking sweating like a whore in a church, dude. It's insane. Yeah, God, you're sweating God, like a pig right now. My dad told me to like spray this hat too, so I wouldn't stain it. I'm definitely gonna stain it. My dad's gonna definitely say something. I don't. Yeah, I apologize for Justin's sweating, guys. I live in Huntington Beach, and we don't have AC because uh, we're spoiled with 75-degree weather 24 or 36, 365 days a year. Yeah, so, so with uh, probably, like, I guess 90% humidity in here, which is nice. Yeah, we probably look disgusting and greasy right now, but uh, awesome. it's but it's not our fault. It's not our fault. No, no, no. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's let's wrap this up. Let's talk a little bit more about Game 3. I mean, dude, the, the Bucks. The, this is the turning point for, for the series in them, like, they needed to win both games in this at, at home in order to make this a game, and they did that. Well, remember in game three, and like, and I brought this up earlier, I made a mistake, but like, Drew Holiday went eight of 14. When here's the thing they won by six tonight, and Drew Holiday had a bad game. Drew Holiday had a great game in game three, and they won by 20. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird how that works, right? Yeah, it's not like Chris Middleton had an insane game, he had 18 points, six of 14. Like, and don't get me wrong, uh, Drew Holiday, you know, played like shit tonight, tonight, and they won. But that was also largely due to Chris oh. Middleton going off. Yeah. And I mean, also, you know, fifteen for thirty three isn't exactly, you know, amazing shooting from the field. So, like, it's not awful, but it's pretty. It's, I mean, it's solid, but it's like it's like forty four percent or something. That's not. That's uh, probably like forty two. But uh, like the biggest thing was like. Drew Holiday was like, okay, I'm clearly not making shots, so I need to make plays where it matters. And so, mm-hmm. hustle plays. Be Della Vadova, bro. I don't give a shit. And, like, and that happens. That happens sometimes when you're not making shots. It happens even the best player. Yeah, I, happens. It doesn't. But yeah. Like, it doesn't. Right? Like, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you're not the best player, so it's okay. We traded you for Brandon Jennings. <laughs> Brandon uh, Jennings plays in China now, so... 
I'm looking forward to these uh, next few games. So, uh, when's when's game five? Is that on Sunday then? Yeah, I believe so. Those fuckers, they they really want to want to tease us. Yeah, letting them recover from jet lag. Yeah, a bunch of wusses. Yeah, <laughs> bunch of wusses played in the NBA Finals. Pussies. Soft. Soft. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let us know what you guys think. Are the Suns going to fix their issues right now, or are the Bucks going to ride this momentum and fucking finish out this series? Let us know what you think. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Dude, please Just, fucking subscribe. I don't want to go to work anymore, dude. Yeah. I don't want to go to work. It's really, well, it's also for my ego. Yeah. Well, yeah. Jack gets upset. Yeah. And so please do it mainly, mainly for that. So, all right. We appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching. Oh,